Hello and welcome to Engineering Simple. Today I would like to talk about representing complex numbers in polar form. So, as stated previously, there are three ways to represent a complex number. We have seen rectangular form and exponential form. Now we're going to see polar form. So basically, if we have a complex number C equal to A plus J times B, we want to write it in the format of C is equal to its magnitude and its angle. And this is very convenient when dealing with phasors. So A and B are real numbers. J squared is equal to negative 1. We saw before that the magnitude of C is equal to the square root of quantity A squared plus B squared. And the angle of C is inverse tan of B divided by A. So let's look at an example. So if C is equal to 2 plus J times 1, then the magnitude of C is equal to the square root of 4 plus 1, which is about 2.23. Then the angle of C is equal to the inverse tan of 1 divided by 2, which is about 26.5 degrees. Then C in polar form would be 2.23 with an angle of 26.5 degrees. Let's look at the second example. C is equal to 1 plus J times 5. Then the magnitude of C is equal to the square root of 1 plus 25, which is about 5.09. Then the angle of C is equal to the inverse tan of 5 divided by 1, which is about 78.69 degrees. Then C in the polar format would be 5.09 with an angle of 78.69 degrees. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to, subs to, to subscribe to Engineer Simple to receive more videos. My email is below if you have any question. Thank you again and have a good day.